Hey y'all, I just got back from an overnighter. Took my gravel bike out with some friends and spent a night in the woods. So I thought it would be really useful to show you guys my bike packing bags, how I set up my bike for an overnighter and what I packed. So let's do this. So on this trip, instead of bringing my mountain bike, which I have brought on a number of bikepacking trips, I went with my gravel bike. I ride a medium frame Crest Bombora. I had been lusting after the Bombora for a really long time. And as a present to myself for passing my PhD exams, I bought myself one. And I love it. It's an incredible bike. I'll do a review on that at some point in the future. So first things first, I have my bike packing bags. On the handlebar, I have a gold back bag by Bags by Bird. And on the frame, I also have another Bags by Bird called the Better Half Frame Bag. I had these bags custom made for this bike. Jay Ritchie, who is behind Backside Bird, lives here in Atlanta, and he made these bags for me, and I love them. Also on the handlebars, I have a stem bag by The Spindle, which I borrowed from my friend Finch. On the back, I have old school Caradice Camper Long Flap. It's 24 liters of space, and it attaches with a quick release. And I have my Wahoo mount. I don't know if that counts as a bag, but it's always on there. So starting in the front, in the gold back, at the bottom, I put my Thermarest Pro Light sleeping pad. I just bought this. I mentioned in my last video that finding the right sleep system for me has been an utter saga. This is the latest rendition of that saga. I slept on it last night for the first time and it was awesome. So I'm really looking forward to having this in my kit. On top of the Pro Light, I have the Big Agnes Fly Creek 2, the bike pack edition. It is super compact. I had my first impressions video last week. This was the first time I had used this last night. I really like it. It's been my favorite tent I've used bikepacking so far. I've only had it for one night, but I'm really looking forward again to sleeping in it more nights. In the main compartment, I have these fashion slides. I usually carry Crocs. I like love Crocs. I will evangelize Crocs forever, but these are my $10 fashion slides from Target. They work just as well. They're also just really compact, which is why I brought them for this trip. This is what takes up the main compartment of my handlebar bag. I have two pockets on either side of the gold back. One is mesh. I asked that for that specifically so that I could put snacks into the mesh on the side pocket. That's where I reach most when I'm on long rides. But on the other, in the other pocket, I have the footprint for my tent, Sea to Summit inflatable pillow, trowel, and I have these cheap little Amazon lights that I string in my tent. They're like little fairy lights. So in the Caradice long flap that I have in the back, um, strapped on top, I have a Gossamer Gear thin light pad. This is the, I think it's the quarter inch one. At some point I'm gonna get the even thinner one, um, but it's on back order right now. So I'll get that when it comes out. I put this underneath my sleeping pad so it doesn't slide around in my tent. This can also double as like a yoga mat or a sit pad. Uh, you can use this for a lot of different things. On my Florida Huracan trip, I only brought this as my sleeping pad. And I will say, I'm not gonna do that again. It is way too uncomfortable for me, but I think it might work for a lot of people. At the bottom of the bag, I have my Enlightened Equipment 30 degree quilt. It is the long and wide version. I opted for this because I am 5'11 and I find that regular size things aren't, don't quite fit for me. Stuff it in a Z-Pack Slim dry bag. It's, this is about two and a half liters. Next, I have my clothes, which are packed in a Z-Pack Small dry bag. Just my pajamas and an extra t-shirt, an extra pair of underwear and socks. Next, I have my toiletries bag. I just have toothbrush, toothpaste, chamois butter, lotion, first aid kit. I'll do another video on what's in this because I think that can be kind of useful. I also have my cook kit, which is a, a Tokes Titanium 900 milliliter. This is a little bit too big for me. I'm probably gonna get rid of it at some point and sell it. But I have little, uh, ooh, what is this cup called? Little fold a cup, just really compact. Stove, lighter, fuel, foldable spoon. 
In addition to this, I a new addition to my gear kit is a Sea to Summit bowl. My friends Finch and Sarah turned me on to this. It's really nice to not have to eat out of the bags that you make the dehydrated meals with. So I, I recently got this. So far I'm really liking it. Just used it twice. It's quite nice. I also have my camera gear. This is just uh, the only camera I have is a GoPro. Um, so in here I put batteries, um, light, a light, microphone, just like camera stuff. Super compact. In here I also have my journal and a book. I am currently slow reading Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I'm not sure how I feel about it. And lastly, I have my Tobo Designs ultralight jacket. I have a review on this. I absolutely love this jacket. I highly recommend it and I bring it on all my camping trips. So in my frame bag, I have, oh, two uh, scratch-offs. We stopped by a gas station, I got some scratch-offs. I won $10 in a ticket. Also have uh, a liter of water in here. On the other side, I just have a bunch of snacks uh, and nuts. So that's it, that's my setup. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I didn't bring any meals this time because we actually had someone bring food and beer to our campsite, which is a real luxury. It was really nice to have someone do that this time. Normally I don't do that, but it meant that we didn't have to carry any food, which means less weight on the bike, which means a faster, sometimes happier ride when you have less weight on the bike. So hope this was useful for you guys and I will see you next time.